Hello, welcome. We're just going to read this problem together because I couldn't fit the whole thing on the page, but if you want to pause it and try it out, please do so. All right, so 55 students attending the prom were randomly selected to participate in a survey about the music choice for the prom. All right, so they want to know what music do we play, so we look at 55 students and see what they say. 60% responded that a DJ would be preferred over a band. So DJ is preferred over a band. Members of the prom committee thought the vote would have been 50% for DJ and 50% for the band, so they were surprised. Now, I, this is <laughs> not really plausible, I don't think, but the idea is now they want to know, okay, was our sample reliable or should we go out further? So what they do is they want a computer simulation of, of the situation. They run it 200 times, each of a sample size of 55. So right, based on the premise that 60% of the students would prefer a DJ. So if that's true, imagine you have a large school population. And from that large simulator, you're taking a sample of 55. What would you expect to get in a survey result? If you did it 200 times with the simulation, you can expect you get all these people every single time you're pulling out 55 of them what would that survey say assuming that in that whole population 60 percent prefer a dj what would you expect to get and this is what they get right here right they get uh some situations you can see it goes all the way down to about 40 percent some uh above 75 percent here or so um what you're saying is sometimes you get above 75% for people who, what is this, would prefer a DJ, so almost every, uh, almost three fourths, and then a little less than half over here. Sometimes you get what they expect, which is 50%. So um, it also looks like, looks like the bulk is kind of between 50 and 70% here. That's typically what you get. So in other words, it's possible from the simulation you can see to get a survey where even though 60% of the population prefer a DJ, only about 40% said they would prefer that. That might surprise you. It only happened a couple of times, but it looks like it happened twice here. But that could happen. In other situations, it could look like upwards of three-fourths of 75% prefer a DJ, even when really, truly in the whole population here, 60% prefer a DJ. Okay, anyway, so the standard deviation, the mean's about 60%, 0.602. Standard deviation's about 6 percentage, 6.6 .6 percentage points in either direction. And they want to know, is it, determine a plausible interval containing the middle 95% of the data. Now, all we have to know here is that the middle 95% of the data is plus or minus uh, two standard deviations of the mean, which is about here. So how do we do that? Well, we take um, 0 0.602, and we add or subtract two standard deviations, not one, but two standard deviations from that mean. And that's going to get us, you can say the interval is from 0 0.47 from, sorry, 0 0.47. Seven. That's the 0 0.602 minus twice the standard deviation, rounded to the nearest hundredth, to uh, 0 0.602 plus twice the standard deviation, rounded to the nearest hundredth, is 0 0.73. That's just showing, so, so about from here to 0 0.47, let's say about here, that's got 95% of your data in here. And then um, we can see that the, it says the members of the prom committee are concerned that a vote of all students attending the prom may produce a 50-50 split. Um, explain what statistical evidence supports this concern. Okay, well, in other words, 50% could happen. We see that happening, and it happens about five times, but that's not the significant part. What is significant is that is it is within that 95% confidence interval. So you could say, so... Um, 50%, you can be really brief, 50% is within the confidence, the confidence interval. That's one way to maybe suggest that uh, maybe it is reasonable to expect that because we do see it happening at least five times here in our samples. Um, all right, well, I hope that helped. Uh, I know some of my explanations here were really, really brief. Uh, but the, I'm sure you could dive deeper into the mathematics of what's happening here. But uh, I just wanted to briefly touch upon the stats we're using in this problem. Thank you.